everybody. So in this episode, we are going to be doing some finish work to this blade right here. This is the kind of spur of the moment EDC that we decided to go ahead and start making on Friday's video. So with this, we're going to go ahead and get our heat treat done. We're going to get our temper done. We're going to get some finished grinds on the bevels, get some stuff hand sanded, and pretty much get this thing ready for handle scales. Now, I was able to actually, well, a little backstory. So I had got the steel that I'm using for this from a fellow knife maker that was local to here. And I didn't know what steel it was going into this, but I was able to actually get a hold of the guy and talk to him. And it is 1084. So nothing complicated, nothing crazy like that. So we'll be able to heat treat it just like 1084. Uh, basically what I'm going to do, I, I am going to do a, a few rounds of normalizing because the piece that I cut this off of actually had some area that he had forged into a knife. So there was some heat put through this. I don't know how much heat, I don't know how much, you know, shock or anything like that was put through this steel. So I'm going to go ahead and normalize it. So basically what I'm going to do, and this might not be everybody's normalizing schedule or cycle, but what I'm going to do is bring it up to about 1600 degrees between that 1575 and 1600 degree range. And then I'm going to let it cool down. We're going to bring it back up to about 1500 degrees, let it cool down. Then we're going to bring it up to about 1425 degrees, let it cool down. And then for the heat treat process, I'm going to go ahead, bring it up to 1475 degrees, and then we're going to quench it in parks 50. Now, I've been trying different methods between doing quenchant for something like 1084 in Parks 50 or in my peanut oil that I've been doing for a while. So I've been trying to see what the results look like. Uh, I'm going to be doing it in Parks 50 on this one, see how it goes, see what type of hardness we get. I'm excited about this. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. And I think this is going to be a cool looking knife when it's all said and done. So without further ado, let's jump in the other shop. Let's get this thing heat treated and go from there. So we've got it in our straightening jig that we have right here. We did pick up just a little bit of a warp. The tang kind of kicked out just a little bit. So we've got it straightened out. We're going to go ahead, put it in the oven at about 375 degrees for just over an hour. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do and get this done.
All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up here. So this is where I'm at so far. This is the finish that I'm leaving it with. You see right here, it's still mirrored-ish, but what this is is a 220 grit belt with a scotch Bright finish on top of that. We still have a nice and crisp transition between the flats and the bevels. You know, that is just, I'm really liking the overall finish on this. I like this kind of rustic area up here and then the nice clean bevels. Now, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to leave the bevels, the finish that they are right now. I might try to, I don't know, hand sand them. I haven't decided. For, but for this point, I'm, I'm happy with the way that it is right now. And I wanted it just to be a nice, clean, and rustic-ish style EDC. But you never know. We'll see how it goes. I've wanted to make this profile for a little while. I really like the way it is. And it's such a good profile that even with no scales on it, it's super comfortable in the hand. Because it just fits my hand perfectly. All the way around. I mean, it's just like... Just the ergonomics on this are insane. Um, I'm excited about this. I'm really interested in what y'all think about it and what y'all think about the, the overall profile, everything that we have going on with this, the finish, how high I brought up the bevels, all of that. Y'all let me know. Um, I have a rough idea about what handle scale material I'm going to go with. Uh, the one that I've had or the one that I'm thinking about going with, I've had for a while, and I think that this is the build to pull the trigger on with it. It's not that it's something super crazy or fancy. I just think that it matches this particular knife, and I think y'all will think the same thing whenever we get to that point. But that's what we're calling it on this one. So the next video that will be coming out on Friday, like build series video, well, Technically, the next build series video is the uh, Shop Talk Tuesday build series with the chopper that we're going to be working on. So the other build series, the Cable Damascus build series, uh, next Friday we should be putting handle scales together and on that one. And uh, get that build finished up over next weekend. And then the weekend after that, the Friday and Sunday video, we'll be finishing this knife. And then, of course, during these processes, we working on the Shop Talk Tuesday knife. So, we got a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully y'all are digging this, guys. Y'all just, <sighs> thank y'all for, you know, coming by, watching these videos and just hanging out and being, you know, just part of the comment section and talking back and forth and talking with each other. All the people that have came on to the TRE Workshop Facebook page, and everybody who's interacting with each other, I'm just blessed to have all of y'all. Thank y'all. But that's the end of this one. If y'all would, give this video a thumbs up, share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, thank you for coming by. Thanks for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.